Good morning, welcome back to another vlog. I hope you're all doing really well. Today I am off to London. I am heading to the new store opening of the new Majuri store in Covent Garden, which I'm very excited about because you guys know I am a huge fan of Majuri jewelry. I feel like there's not a day that goes by where I'm not wearing something from Majuri, including, of course, all of the pieces I've got on now. I will go through all of these bits of you in a second before I leave. Um, but I am heading there. They've invited me down to check out the new store in Covent Garden. I'm going to be vlogging in there and, yeah, just check out some of the beautiful pieces. So my train is in about 20 minutes, so I thought I'd quickly show you my outfit before I leave. And yet again, I'm wearing this dress from Free People. I feel like I have worn this so, so much since I've got it. I think it's just because it's just pure comfort. Obviously, I'm sitting on the train for over an hour and I just wanted to be comfortable and this dress definitely ticks that box and obviously very comfortable with bump as well. Um, so dress is from Free People. Um, I've got on my Amazon Fashion tan sandals, my Loewe bag. In fact, I feel like I've got deja vu. I feel like I've actually shown you this outfit in this mirror before, maybe. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Loewe bag, and then like I said, all of my jewellery is from Majuri, so I will quickly go through the pieces that I've, show that I've got in, um, and then I will try and insert some close-ups so you can see them better, because it's not always ideal seeing them in the mirror. Um, although most of these pieces I've had for a while and I have shown you before, um, but I've got in these gorgeous rectangle hoops. I love these. These are one of my favourite pairs of hoops for Majuri. I just think they are so chic and simple and just that little bit different because they're, they're um, rectangle. I've also popped in a couple of cuffs. I've got in a 14 karat gold cuff and then this um, gold verme beaded cuff as well and I love how they look stacked together too. For my necklace I've gone for a trusty old favourite of mine, my rose pendant. Again this is 14 karat gold and on a 14 karat gold chain as well. But you can also get some of these pendants. They do come in gold verme as well. I'm not sure, I don't think all of them do, but they do certain styles in gold verme as well, so a much more affordable price. So I will also leave the gold verme options linked as well, but I have worn this so much. Um, and then for bracelets, I've got on my regular little stack of bracelets on my right, uh, no, left wrist. <laughs> um, I've got on my C initial bracelet, and then this beautiful serpentine or serpentine chain, which again, I love. I just feel like it's such a beautiful, like shiny, shimmery chain. And then I've also got on the slightly chunkier gold chain as well. They are all 14 karat gold. And then on my right wrist, I've got on this gorgeous charm bracelet, which I haven't actually worn this for a little while. I found this in my jewelry box recently. I thought, I don't know why I took that off because I wore it for like months and months last year and then I must have taken it off for some reason and forgot to put it back on but it's been on ever since and it's just this beautiful chunky gold charm bracelet and then I've got a moon charm on there and a little C initial charm as well. And then for my rings on this hand I've stacked these beautiful two diamond and 14 karat gold rings together. The bottom one is like a half diamond eternity band and this top one is like a beautiful chunky gold and diamond band and I think they look lovely stacked together they just sparkle beautifully and then on my right hand I've got on this gorgeous heart ring which I love again 14 karat gold and it's got a beautiful little row of diamonds through the middle I've also got on this parve diamond ring on my index finger and then on my thumb I've got on this gorgeous little twisted ring and I've had I've actually had these three on for a while oh and then on my ankle I've also got an anklet on from Majuri as well and if you followed me since last summer you probably will have known I wore this every day throughout summer I didn't take it off until about kind of September October time when I was going into autumn winter clothes and I've just popped it back on now and I've got a feeling it's going to stay on until the end of summer again so um yeah that is all of the jewelry that I am wearing today um, and I'm sure I will be showing you lots more beautiful pieces once I get to the Majuri store. So I'm gonna head off and head to London. And also I forgot to mention that everything I am wearing will be linked below in the description box. And I will have a 10% discount for Majuri, 10% off your first purchase, but I will leave all of that information in the description box as well.
So here it is, the new Majuri store. I'm very excited to go in and have a little look. So I headed into the store and as I walked in on my left hand side, I spotted a selection of beautiful bracelets straight away. And I have actually been meaning to get another bracelet to add to my stack as well. They had some really lovely options, but in particular, I loved this diamond tennis bracelet. I mean, how stunning is that? And it looks so pretty stacked next to my other bracelets. They also had some of their gorgeous coin pendants on display as well. I'm actually wearing, like I said, I'm wearing the rose one today. Um, but they had a lovely section of those and charms as well. Um, this is the winged pendant, which I also have and I love. I wear it so much. They had some really lovely chains, silver, gold, gold for May. Um, this chain was really pretty. I love the style of this. And in fact, they actually had one of their coin pendants on that chain on display that looked lovely. And then they also had some really lovely gold for May and sterling silver and pearl bracelets as well. A few more of the lovely necklaces. I loved how these three looked stacked together as well. I feel like necklaces look so lovely stacked. And in fact, this is actually one of the gold for May coin pendants as well. I also loved how these two necklaces look stacked together too. And then I looked at all of their beautiful earrings. I mean, I feel like the camera does not do these studs just justice, but they were so sparkly. And this pair of hoops as well. I've actually got these in the smaller version, but this is the bigger version and they were so sparkly. This is a selection of some of their gold and silver hoops, lots of different sizes. And they also had these really pretty little hoop charms. I love the little moon and star ones. I mean, just look how aesthetically pleasing the store is in general, so lovely. And then I moved on to look at the rings, which is probably my favorite selection because I know I keep saying sparkly, but look how sparkly these beautiful diamond rings are. In fact, it actually made me realize that I need to give my rings a clean because they were just beautiful. Although saying that, they don't look too bad there, do they? They look pretty sparkly there. <laughs> um, but I tried these two on together. I thought they looked gorgeous together. Again, both um, 14 karat gold and diamonds. And I also thought this one was so, so pretty as well. Something a little bit different, really like dainty, but sparkly and just, <laughs> sorry, sparkly again. <laughs> Um, and I also tried these diamond ones on together just because, I mean, why not? Oh, I also loved how these three looked stacked together. I just picked out three really pretty little dainty rings and I loved how they looked stacked together. And then I headed down to show you the piercing studio as well. Majuri do have a piercing studio that you can book into if you are looking to get any more piercings. And yeah, this is what it looks like. Lovely. I am very tempted to book in there myself. There's me. <laughs> and then I headed back upstairs for an ice cream, of course. They had complimentary ice cream and I could not resist an ice cream. I went for the pistachio and the cappuccino and I sat outside in the sunshine and enjoyed my ice cream and it was delicious. Good morning. It is a couple of days later now and I am just about to head out this morning to an appointment at my orthodontics for my Invisalign. If you've been following me for a while, you will know that I can currently have Invisalign and have done for quite some time. And I am finally at the end of my treatment. I think I've got two trays to go. And so I've just got a little checkup this morning just to make sure that we are all done. And then I'm guessing I'll probably get booked in for another appointment to have the little attachments taken off, which is what I'm looking forward to the most because I feel like they make the main difference. I feel like once the attachments come off, I'll be able to see the difference a lot more and kind of like appreciate my finished smile. <laughs> um, so I'm off there this morning. I thought I'd quickly show you my very comfortable outfit again. I feel like, you know, comfort is key at the moment. And I have got on this very comfortable jumpsuit from Free People. I feel like when I stand like this, it almost looks like a black maxi dress, doesn't it? But it is a lovely wide-legged, jumpsuit. I've shown you this before anyway, so you've probably seen me wearing it before, but it's got pockets. It's got like this smock detail around the top so I can wear it without a bra. And it's also got plenty of room as well. So I am very comfortable in it. Um, I've also got my Loewe bag as well, which I have been using so much recently. I am loving this bag. And then I've popped on my Birkenstocks. 
again we're all about the comfort and I've pretty much got the same jewelry on I had like I don't think I've taken off most of my jewelry oh I've popped in these little um these little earrings that are cute they're kind of like a almost like a half like little huggy hoop um I've popped these in they're also from the jewelry so they will be linked as well they're not new I've had them for a while um but that is today's a very comfortable outfit of the day and now I'm heading off to the orthodontics. So after I'd been to the orthodontics, I popped in to Space NK for a little look around. I can never walk past Space NK without nipping in to see if there's anything I need. Um, I didn't actually talk in there, hence why I'm doing another voiceover again. I feel like this vlog has been full of voiceovers when I don't normally do them. <laughs> um, but they had lots of lovely Charlotte Tilbury makeup. I might have picked up a couple of bits from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, the best dry shampoo as well and these lipsticks looked gorgeous these were the Shant Shantikai lipsticks this one was in the shade Impassions I think I've probably pronounced that completely wrong but it was really lovely like pinky nude colour and then these were some hourglass lipsticks I also thought looked gorgeous this, sh this shade was beautiful it was in the shade Dove and it was just a really gorgeous nudie coral shade that's it swatched on the back of my hand so pretty and then after that, I nipped into H&M as well. Um, I thought this little black dress was quite cute, like a little ruffly mini dress. I feel like the camera's not really doing it justice, but I thought that was quite sweet for just holiday, $18.99. Um, I love the colour of this dress. I love this colour in summer with a matching lip. Um, and I thought that this little blouse, again, camera not really doing it justice, but like a little cream pleated blouse was nice. That was $24.99. Um, they had this little cropped shirt that I thought looked quite cute. And then they also had these striped tank tops in a few different colours. This is the same as the one that I've got in like the cream and black stripe. They had it in blue and white, navy, white, and then that taupe colour at the top there. They were all $9.99. Um, I spotted a couple of nice black midi dresses. This one was just very simple. $17.99, just a very plain black midi dress. And then this one had the crochet top to it. And then the bottom of it was like in quite a stretchy material. Um, but I thought that also looked really nice. I think they're the type of dresses that would look a lot better on. But this one was $34.99. And then this white dress is the same as the one that I showed you before in the red, but obviously in white. Again, $24.99. I thought that was quite pretty. And that was about it, really. I didn't spend long in there. And there wasn't that much that I loved the look of, but just, just a few bits that caught my eye. Hey, I've just got back in the car. All went well at the orthodontics and I'm finally done with my Invisalign, which is great news. I knew I would be anyway because I, like I said, I had, um, I'd finished on my last appointment. So I knew there was just the one that needed tweaking. So I kind of knew that I'd go today and they'd be like all ready to finish off. So I've got to wear this tray. I've got one more. And then after that, it's just like a, the same kind of ones again and again. And I'm booked in, I think they said the 14th of July to have my attachments off and to have like everything, everything done. So that is good news. I'm so looking forward to it being finished now. And yeah, that when they showed me the before and after pictures today, obviously I'll show you in my next vlog when I actually have the whole thing done, but they showed me the before and after pictures and I was like, it's, because it's so gradual, you don't notice it day by day, but it made such a difference. Um, anyway, I am going to head back home. I did pop into Space NK, I popped into H&M, but I didn't have long because stupidly I only put an hour on the car. Hey guys, I am back at home now and I'm just having a little snuggle on the sofa with Rafi. I have got my laptop here and I've just been doing a little bit of work, catching up on some emails. Um, but I felt a little bit sicky this afternoon. I felt a bit like, like nauseous. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's because I'm coming into the third trimester. They do say, they do say like sickness can come back, don't they? And I felt like really, really tired and a bit sicky, but hopefully it's just a one-off. Um, but I did pick up a couple of bits from Space NK that I thought I would quickly show you. And also, I wanted to mention, I forgot to mention this earlier on in the video. Um, but first of all, thank you for all of your um, input on the dresses that I chose for Ascot. Guys, I didn't end up going. I had food poisoning. <laughs> I couldn't go after all of that. I was so sick. I have not been that sick 
um, in, sorry, if you don't like talk, hearing about sickness and maybe fast forward this bit, not that I'm going to go into details, but I know some people can't hear about it at all, can they? But I've not been that sick in years and years. In fact, when I was being sick, loser to me, I don't think I've ever seen you this sick before. Um, you know, when your body needs to get every single bit out and so like you are being sick, but nothing's coming out and it's just that awful, like gut-wrenching sickness. I can laugh better now because I feel better. But at the time, oh, I felt awful. It was so bad. And the thing is, I don't know what caused it because we, I, I had exactly the same as what Lou had and his parents, because his parents had come over as well. I ate exactly the same as them. They were all fine. Like, everything was cooked fine. We were like, I, I, honestly, I've no idea what caused it, but I definitely know it was food poisoning and not a bug because the next day, as, even though I felt exhausted the next day, I felt like, you know, with a bug, it goes on a bit more, doesn't it? It was just, it, it just felt like it was, it felt like it was definitely food poisoning. But baby's fine. Fortunately, I actually had a midwife appointment the next day. And my mum said to me, why don't you try and reschedule your midwife appointment? Obviously, you're not feeling great. But I thought, no, I want to go and check that baby's okay. Because that's what I was more worried about. Like, I wasn't, con I wasn't worried about myself. I was just worried the baby was okay. So I, um, yeah, fortunately, had the midwife appointment the next morning. And everything was fine and the midwife was like baby probably probably hasn't even noticed the heartbeat sounds really strong and yeah chances are baby hasn't even noticed so that was a relief but i just felt wiped out and so it was the day after that i was supposed to be going to ascot not the not the day after but the day after that i was supposed to be going to ascot and you know when you just feel like i just didn't feel right and i thought there's no point me having a whole day out when i don't feel a hundred percent so I didn't end up going, unfortunately. I decided to give it a miss because I just thought I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be on form, I'm not gonna feel great. And so after all that, those beautiful dresses, I didn't wear any of them because I didn't go to Ascot. Um, which is a shame, but I feel so much better now. And yeah, like I said, it was a relief that baby was okay. But honestly, Rafi was so cute while I was being sick. I mean, I say cute, he was just, he was so concerned, bless him. And he was literally, he did not leave my side. He was so, he was just, you could see he was just, he just, yeah, he was so attentive and he just was just like laying on my leg while I was in the bathroom, on the bathroom floor and just, he, yeah, he was all of a panic at first, didn't really know what was going on. And yeah, he was, he was so sweet, bless him. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Do you want to say hello? Little Raffy update, even though you are a bit hyper all of a sudden, aren't you? No. <laughs> maybe calm down calm down a little bit and then we'll have a little raffy update hey hey yes i do um but yeah he was the cutest and lou was lovely as well they both looked after me very well and then like i said i did pick up a few bits in space nk that i needed um, or wanted. <laughs> um, first of all, I got the Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo from Living Proof. This is the best dry shampoo. It's so good. It actually feels like it cleans your hair. It doesn't leave like a white chalky residue. I've already got this, but I've nearly ran out. So I grabbed another one of those. Another product that I've already loved and used and raved up, raved about before. It's a Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. And again, I've ran out of this, so I picked up another one of those. And that is such a good micro, like um, really gentle exfoliator. You just add it to your hand, add a bit of water to it. It makes like a nice kind of like foam. And then you rub it all over your face and it honestly leaves your skin feeling so smooth and exfoliated. Like everyone I've recommended that to. Loves it. Um, I grabbed a little pillow spray. This is the Ren and now to sleep pillow spray I, I just love a, i love a pillow spray i feel like there's something quite relaxing about it. like i do my nighttime skincare routine and then i just like spritz my pillow before getting into bed and it just makes me feel very relaxed and then a few makeup bits first of all a charlotte Tilbury lipstick of course um this is in the shade pillow talk medium and i've already got pillow talk which is an all-time favorite of mine although at the moment i feel like it's a little bit light in the summer because i've got a bit more of a tan i feel like the regular like the regular pillow talk is slightly too light at the moment um so i picked up pillow talk medium 
which actually looking at it now it looks quite dark um but i'm thinking that when it's on it'll be just a slightly darker nude shade i thought that looks really nice um and i also got the same lip liner as well the pillow talk medium lip liner as well which i have had before i think i might even have one of these to be fair um pillow talk medium lip liner which again is like just the same sort of slightly darker nude as well um but i feel like charlotte tilbury lip liners are so good so i'll definitely definitely use that and then i thought this looked really pretty as well this is laura mercier lip gloss in the shade baby doll how pretty is that it's got like a lovely kind of like shimmer to it and it also smells so good it literally smells like cupcakes like vanillary sweet cupcakes um so i grabbed one of those as well Obviously it looks nice layered over lipstick, but I also think on its own it's just got like that lovely, in fact let me swatch it on my hands quickly so you can see the colour of it. I feel like I didn't actually show you this very well, but it's just like a lovely peachy coral colour, which I love in a lip gloss. And then can you see it's just got like that beautiful like sheen to it, really pretty. Um, so I got that as well. Oh, it smells delightful. Do you know what, it smells like a vanilla-y candle. If you like that smell, then you'll love the smell of it. Oh, I just felt, just felt baby flutter. Just felt baby flutter away. I don't know if any of you, I, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I've got an anterior placenta, which means that my placenta is basically sat in front of baby rather than behind, which it usually is, which is fine. Like it's perfectly, it's quite common. It's like, not, you know, nothing to worry about, but it just means that I will feel less movements from baby and also that you feel them later as well. So some people can start feeling them. I think it's from like 16 weeks and I didn't really until maybe about 20 weeks, I think it was. Um, so, which is, which is annoying because the main thing is like, Feeling baby move gives you that reassurance to make sure everything's okay. And the midwife, midwife always says like, I'll oh, make sure that you kind of like, once they start to develop a pattern, you know that if they're moving and then say if they like move, of, I don't know, of an evening after you've had dinner, if you tend to, tend to sit down after dinner and you feel the move, if you then don't, then that's when you have to contact the hospital and go in and have a check because it's, don't put it off, don't wait till the next day. Like, and they kind of, you know, drill that into you, which is, which is great. But there's some days where like, I'll be busy doing, I, I tend to only feel baby if I'm sat down, really. So I'll be busy doing something all day, I'll be out and about, and so I don't notice, I don't know if I felt baby because I think, well I've not really stopped. Um, so it's kind of like a bit of a tricky one because I don't want to be like too OTT on it because yeah, it's just one of those things. It's hard to, it's hard to explain, but tell, let me know if you've had or have if you're pregnant and you have an anterior placenta as well, let me know if you know how it feels or kind of like what you, yeah, if you're in the same sort of boat. I'm hoping as baby grows, I might feel more and more, but I am nearly 26 weeks, so, you know, you just expect a little bit more, wriggle around more. Uh, but no, no, baby does move, there is a lot, I do feel a lot of movement, it's just not like um, as much as it would be if my, placenta was not in front of baby so i think i might finish off the vlog here actually because i feel like yeah i think i'm gonna finish it off here um do you want to come and say goodbye now you're all snoozy let's have a little let's have a little snoozy wrap update because he's just all all chilled now and cuddly see that's what we like to see isn't it a very chilled wrap can you see he's grown so much i mean to me he's still my diddy little baby but when I look back at pictures on my phone of what he was like when I first got him and how tiny he was compared to now, he is literally growing so much. But honestly, he's just, I know I say this in every video, but he's just been an absolute dream. He is such a good boy. He's the most loving, sweet natured, caring, affectionate dog I could possibly wish for. Love him to bits. Um, but yeah, anyway, I hope you have enjoyed the video and um, I will be seeing you again in my next vlog. Bye!
something? <laughs> Did you hear something? I don't want to kiss you because I've just put lip gloss on and I'm all sticky. You don't want sticky fur. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>